just called Rick Scott to congratulate him. And I told him that, especially uh, after such a very close election, he will need to work hard. He will need to work very hard to bring our state together. Because for the future of our state, I hope Rick Scott remembers that there are two and a half million Floridians who do not vote for him. And that his highest priority has to be to bring our state together to meet our challenges. For me, it has been an honor and a privilege to serve the people of Florida for the last four years as their chief financial officer. And I have been both honored and humbled by the incredible support that I received in this campaign for governor. It is remarkable and it is truly overwhelming. 70,000 contributions to our campaign. More than one million volunteer calls were made over the course of the last three weeks to get out the vote. We fought very, very hard. And I drew strength every day from the enormous numbers of people who believed in me, who believed in our campaign, who believed in my vision for the future of our state. And we heard those voices in every one of the 67 counties here in Florida that I visited and campaigned actively in, along with our Lieutenant Governor running mate Rod Smith. So many people who love our state and care deeply about our future gave their time, their money, their toil, their sweat, and yes, as of this morning, even their tears for a successful campaign. And words just fall short of expressing my gratitude. And I do want to say something about the enormous numbers of press and media in this room. I want to thank all of you for covering the race, uh, for reporting uh, on the race fairly. I want to thank the members of the 17